So the other day I had some trouble with my Cisco 3845. Kind of, I guess it lost uh, some of the expansion cards. There's a couple network modules in the bottom slot that just basically disappeared from the system. Uh, and I had a T1 and alarm on the other end, the far end, and, and all kinds of stuff. So I, it's what made me realize the problem. And uh, Unfortunately, this isn't the first time I had this issue. Uh, and it kind of stems back to a few months ago. Uh, I had the Cisco 3845 all torn apart and set up outside of the chassis on a bench so that I could look at a card I was troubleshooting that didn't seem to show up properly to the Cisco and came to the conclusion that an EEPROM wasn't programmed properly, but that's like a whole other story that I'm not going to get into. Uh, did not end up successfully fixing those cards. Um, anyway, apparently in the process of taking the thing apart and putting it back together a few times, I had bent some pins on these really fine pitch uh, connectors here, which connect the motherboard to the back plane, which is what you're looking at here, uh, which caused a similar issue that the bottom two network module cards either didn't show up or would lock the system up. Um, so I unbent the pins, put everything back together, and it seemed to work for a while, but it seems like every once in a while it still has some issues so I decided to take a closer look at it I was maybe gonna try spraying some contact cleaner in there these are gold plated connectors they shouldn't really have a corrosion problem um, that doesn't mean they don't have a like a dust problem but I decided to take a closer look at the connectors and uh, kinda pull apart one of the connectors here on the motherboard carefully. When you do this, connectors are really fragile. Got to make sure to pull this off evenly. But I did find something that looked a little odd. I'm going to see if I can get a good picture of it. Of course it's always a little bit difficult. But I had noticed that there was one pin that didn't quite look right. This whole mess. Let's see. And it is right there. Fourth from the right, three rows down. That pin the contacts are like a little more spread out than they should be and so the question becomes well how did that happen and the answer seems to be that the corresponding pin over in this connector is bowed out just a slight amount so what you're looking for here let me bring the light in closer what you're looking for here is again this time fourth column from the right third row from the bottom and you can see how that pin is uh, bent just a little bit it's still, the end is still in the right spot, but the pin itself is bowed. And that may have been enough to screw up that contact. Now I haven't taken apart the other connector on the other side to look at the contacts and that one on the motherboard. I think this is the connector that had the majority of the pins I had to fix the last time bent in it. So this could also have some problem pins. I'll have to pull that connector apart and look at it. Um, as much as I'd love to film myself fixing these pins through my microscope, I really just don't currently have a way to mount any kind of camera on this microscope to film that, so uh, I apologize that you won't see me fixing the pins carefully with a pair of tweezers. Uh, 
But I'm going to give this a try, have a look at the other connector, I'll report my findings and see if I can get this fixed again, working reliably, because I'm it's been really frustrating every time I touch the 3845 or even this last time I didn't even touch it and it had some issues so it's been getting really frustrating. Well here it is running again and all the interfaces came up uh, so it seems to be working so that's good. Oh, I didn't find any other bent pins on the other connector. It was just that one that I pointed out. Um, so hopefully this will work reliably from now on.